Enchanting your tools and armor is one of the most important things to do in survival Minecraft. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to build an enchanting house in a cherry blossom theme. These are all of the materials that you'll need to build along with me today. While you're gathering them up, also be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any future tutorials. Let's start the build by planning out the location on the ground. Use stripped cherry wood to mark out the locations of the pillars, and use polished tuff to mark out the walls and the door represents where the entrance will be to help you position this build in your world. The next step is to remove all of the grass blocks inside of the layout. Let's fill this area back in with cobblestone to create the floor of our house. In between these two pillars at the front of the house, let's use polished tuff instead of cobblestone. Let's build up the pillars next, following the heights that are on the screen. Keep in mind that these heights are from the ground, so be sure to include the first block in your counting. The left and right side of the house should be mirrored, so it's a good way to check that you've built all of these pillars correctly. Let's build the entrance next, beginning with a polished tough wall on either side, with two cherry fences on top. Place a lilac in both of the corners, with two cherry slabs above. Add a couple of upside down smooth quartz stairs and then connect them using a cherry trap door. Let's also add trap doors to the inside of the pillars. Get yourself on top of the wall and add three smooth quartz blocks. Next, let's build the roof line using cherry stairs. Once you reach the center of the house, place an upside down stair with a slab on top. Let's repeat the same design on the other side until again we reach up with the center. Head to the back of the house and place two slabs in both of the corners. Let's begin filling in this back wall using smooth quartz. Just make sure to leave a 1x2 hole in the middle so that we have room for a window. Place two upside down cherry stairs at the top of the wall. Next, let's build the same roof line that we did at the front of the house. So start on one side and staircase up until you reach the center, then place an upside down stair with a slab on top. Repeat the same design on this other side until you reach up with the middle. Heading back down to the ground, let's add some cherry leaves in between the bottom of the pillars. And let's also add some cherry trap doors on the sides of the pillars. Add another trap door at the top and then fill in the hole using glass panes. Head to the right side of the house and begin filling in the wall using smooth quartz, but leave a couple of holes so that we can add some windows using glass panes. Add a cherry trap door on both sides and then get yourself on top of the wall. From there, we can use cherry slabs to make our way to the center of the wall. Repeat the same design on the other side to finish off this roof line. Let's head over to the left side of the house so that we can mirror the exact same design that we just built. So follow along with me and let's build it up. Let's finish building the roof, starting off by adding two more cherry slabs on either side. From there, let's build a horizontal beam of stripped spruce logs stretching all the way across the top of the roof. On top of the logs, place down a row of cherry slabs. Let's begin filling in the roof using a combination of stone stairs and stone brick stairs. For some of the roof, we're going to have to build it out of slabs. It's helpful to use the roof line as a guide to make sure that everything lines up. Let's mirror the same roof design on the other side of the house. It's time to build the interior, and let's start by adding a couple of lanterns on the ceiling. Next, add a row of upside down spruce stairs, with one more in this corner here. And let's do the exact same thing on this side, so a row of upside down stairs, with one more in this corner. To finish off the ceiling, add a row of spruce trap doors, and let's do the exact same thing on this side as well. Let's build our actual enchanting area next, starting off with two rows of bookshelves on the back wall. Next, extend the bookshelves three more blocks on the right and left side. 
For a pop of color, let's add some flower pots on top of the bookshelves and then fill them in with any flowers that you want. Next, place down your enchanting table in the center of the bookshelves. For some storage, let's add some double chests on the left wall. On the opposite wall, we can add all of the other blocks that we might need, like a smithing table, crafting table, grindstone, and anvil. And with that, the build is finished. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give the video a like as it really helps out the channel. As always, a huge thank you to my supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching and happy building.